I've previously made a video about this smartphone microscope where we can view specimens at quite a high magnification. This is a section from a human trachea, for example. And it's great because you can use your smartphone with it. Or, as in this case, I'm using an iPad, so you can use a tablet with it as well. I'm getting quite high magnification because I've got two lenses on there. The second one being held with a hairpin beneath the first one. And those lenses, they come out of a laser pen. We have perspex, a bit of wood. So the parts are reasonably cheap. And it's a great way to modify your smartphone or tablet into a decent microscope. And it's a great way to do biological drawings once you've learned the skill of my, using a microscope, that is. Because you just place your tablet or your smartphone on the viewer and then get to the part you want and you can just leave it there whilst looking at it and drawing at the same time and that's great for biology but in physics we do an experiment where we try to view Brownian motion and unfortunately this microscope doesn't have a high enough magnification in order to view Brownian motion uh, when we were setting up the experiment, we were using microscopes from the biology department which go up to times 400. And we can see it on that, but we can't see it with this. And then I thought, well, why not just set our phone camera viewing down the microscope? And that's what I did. And I have my iPhone camera here looking down the viewer of our microscope at a sample of milk and if we look at the camera we can see the tiny globules of fat undergoing Brownian motion. So this is a great way to demonstrate to students they can come up and take a look at the screen. I'm getting about a times 1200 magnification with the additional magnification on the phone itself. So you can see those little globules moving around with jerky and random motion. But that's great. In addition though, if you get yourself one of these, Lightning to VGA adapter or the equivalent for an Android phone, connect your phone up to a projector. And then you can observe Brownian motion on the big screen. So there they are, those little globules of fat moving randomly and jerkily. Great demonstration for the class. We do have some microscope, microscope viewers in the department, but we have a lot of trouble setting them up and getting them to work. And they're also very expensive. If you've already got a phone, then this is a cheap way of projecting it.